I'm Todd Grisham, and every fighter wants to say at least once, they fought at Brooklyn Hall. And here we are. Alongside me, English fighting legend Johnny Nelson. About time to. Time for our tale of the tape. Tyson Fury. He is a whopping 206 centimeters tall with a reach of 216. And in the other corner, it's the... The Gypsy... It's the... This bout is scheduled. And this one has all of those big fight feels you want from a prize fight. Here we go. You can't imagine how bad these fighters want to get their hands on each other. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to go down? Punch scores. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. God, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. Changes from both men in this round. Right punch. And he misses with that jab. Slugger, as you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. Sluggers are an absolute nightmare. They will stay in your face, not give you a breather, not step back when you think, all right, let's have a breather. They want to get stuck right in. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. is going to be the first to get rocked. He threw the hook, didn't land. He blocks the right hook. These two heavyweights decide to exchange bombs early or decide to box a little bit. How's that carry so much power? Of course they're going to look like knockout because it makes a night a little bit shorter. You don't get paid any extra for overtime. Some nice exchanges from both men in this ring. Takes that jab. He missed with that jab. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? You've got to be courageous when you're getting in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain. He caught him there with a the left hook. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Could not. He's going to be the first one to get rocked. He 
don't want to trade shots. Both men step back for just a moment. are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fire, we fight. You either give it them back because that's where they're comfortable or you play calm, play cool. Nice job by him to block that jab. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have this round could go either way? Ten seconds to go. This one could go either way. Every round is so he's gonna be the first one to get buzzed. Let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Oh, and he caught him there with the right hooks. He didn't take that jab well at all. Fighters are starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about what. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. And he lands a big right hand. Jab from these two. He carries away that left hook. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. I dread being a judge. He's going to be the first one to get clipped. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots.
I've seen some fighters with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punchers with a chin like a cliff. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger spot. He just misses with that big right hand. figure out the combination to this safe. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system for a certain amount of punches per round. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again, and the fight will be over. left lands. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. This fight is closer than two pages and a book, Johnny. So important. The referee's got to do his fight right. He's got to judge his right. He's got to do his job right. So important. Fighter's gonna get clipped first. Oh, that punch! There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. They score again with the left hand. And he misses with the left uppercut. shots from both these fighters got to be careful though why aren't they defending so far it seems like aggression has been the key this fighter just not slowing down some aggressive fighters like this and they are a nightmare if you are not fit if you are not fit that is the worst place to be having second thoughts in the ring he brought a very competitive round with 10 seconds left Who's winning this fight? Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to get rocked? He fails to score with that left hook. another scoring shot.
stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It can all come down to who's in better shape. Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. These two are the perfect dance partners. Shot with the left. He got out of the way that right hook. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. Tough. You know what? Sometimes when I go in the ring with fights like that and you punch them, you just want to win. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out of there because you think, what the hell am I going to do? Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. This fight could not Who's going to be the first one to get rocked? Rome, but it doesn't connect. Neither man really defending himself. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. Trigger happy because all of a sudden you're gonna be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when they catch you. Back and forth they go, neither fighter willing to back down. Nope, that hook won't score. Game of joust. They both got their swords. They're slinging it. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Which fighter is winning this bout? It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? 